Afternoon guys. Well, I've rigged up an adapter. I was on now. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get this up and running on Windows 98. So, I've installed a DVD drive and that fits. So we'll turn on. Okay, so it's got power to it, that's good, that's good. Put the oh, I didn't beat that me last night. Uh, let's run the... I want it to boot from the um, disk, not the hard drive. Oh, I better set the clock while I'm in here, that would be a good idea. What's the time? Fifteen... Twenty... May the 26th, because it's Mum's birthday, 2015, there we go, that's sorted. Uh, it's running a Pentium 3, 500 MHz, system memory 128 megabytes, level 2 cache 256 kilobytes, a video controller is an ATI MI, Video memory, 8 megabytes. Audio controller, ESS Maestro 2E. Well, at least I could search these and get the drivers separately if the Dell site didn't have them. Um, let's recognise the DVD ROM. It's a modular bay, you see, you can just swap out whatever you need into it. Uh, which isn't a bad idea, actually. And so he was having to make room for both. System identification. Uh, Alt P. Ah, here we go. Boot order. Oh, I've got to move use letters on this one. All right, that's it. That's what I wanted to do. Escape to exit. Do you want to save changes? Yes, I do. Open disk. Once I've got this boot, I'll, I'll start it. To Why has it done that? Why is it open from the hard disk? I'm going to leave it to run to see if it actually boots this time. See, it got this far. Ooh. Are we going to be able to get in this time? Bloody hell, and the audio works. iTunes, <laughs> advanced system care, recycle bin, and my computer. See how long it's taken to boot up. Why are we waiting? Hmm. See, 
Windows is booted up, I'm going to see if the DVD drive actually works. I don't care if there's unused icons on the desktop. Put it off. <sighs> I don't understand why that boot from hard disk, even though I set it to boot from the... Oh, you numpty, that's why I boot from bloody hard disk, because I take boot from hard disk and not CD drive. Dipstick. <laughs> That's why I'm booting up to this, you numb nut. Oh, I don't mind. Oh well, it's installing the DVD ROM, so it's obviously recognised it. It's obviously a working drive, but uh, it does help if I make the right selection. Mm -hmm. Tit. I'm going to let it do what it's got to do. And then I'll restart it and uh, actually it might have a nose on here actually. I can't believe the damn thing actually does work. I blue screened on me last night. I'm still going to revert it back to Windows 98. What a... Uh, Messing around doing that. Oh, I'm gonna have to change the batteries in here soon. Oof. I'm gonna look the laptop up on Google when I hit the right button. Hello? One page, please. Thank you. What is it? Dell. Latitude. Whoops. CP <laughs> X What's come up on CNET? Maybe if I type in drivers I've got a feeling it might be too old. Ooh, product mm. Pardon me. <laughs> oh dear. Product support, Dell US. Might be able to get it from there. Let's have a look. In your own time, Dell. Mm, that's for Windows XP. M E M S Windows ninety eight is what I want. I think that's just found it. So we've got audio, BIOS, diagnostics, IDE, E I D E, modem. Hmm. Well, I suppose I could just ten files on the network. Ow. I might have to go and BIOS and see if I can get the right names. I don't want to mess around. See, what's the difference between these? There isn't. <laughs> well, that's the A00. See, because I could download all those and... Removable storage. No, I don't know I'm not going to need any of those. Video, there's only the one file. Network, I think it's going to be the pig. Video and audio are going to be easy, because there's only two files in each of those. Mm, I've never really bothered with BIOS. I've never had any issues not putting in any of these updated BIOSes, so... If anyone knows if they're actually worth doing or not, let me know, please, and I'll... Um, install them. Uh, modem and communications. 
Yeah, I might have to see if it actually tells me what other hardware there is when I look in um, in um, the what do call it BIOS. Right, so I'm going to leave that up because I'm going to need that. I've got all the CD discs I need in there that I may need anyway. I've got the um, obviously the Windows 98 boot disc. <laughs> I want to do any of that, but that's how long it's just taken to sort that out. I've been through there about five minutes. Slowly does it. <laughs> uh, why anyone would put XP on a machine like this, I don't know. It's just not... It'll run it, but it's just so slow. This would run so much better with Windows 98 on. I could probably put Windows Millennium on it, actually. But I'm not going to. Because I know Windows Millennium can be a right pain in the friggin' backside. As it was with my desktop. Well, that's good. It's not drawing too much current because that's nice and cold. Yeah, it's always best to get the right rated at one of these. If you're going to go for an actual replacement, not a um, universal. So you're going to go for a replacement charger for a laptop, make sure you get one with the right rating. Because I have used ones which are the right voltage but have a lower rated current output. And I have overheated one of these. Luckily the one I was using had a um, thermal cutout so the um, adapter itself when it got to a certain temperature just cut off. <laughs> and uh, once it cooled it would come back on again. So um, always get the right rated adapter. Um, underneath the laptop where you'd see a sticker for power. In fact, while it's still loading, because I can still see the hard drive light flashing away and hear the hard drive, you'll always get a sticker here on a Dell. It'll usually be below the Dell symbol on the bottom. That will tell you the voltage and the current rating. This is a three and a half amp current rated at 20 volts. This, I've got it set on 20 volts, but I don't know about the max. It's 120 watt max, but it doesn't give you the amp output max. Oh, oh no, that's input. Input just says 2.8 amp, amps, 100 to 240 volts, but it doesn't tell you the output ampage. I'm guessing that's got, because it's a universal one, it's got quite a wide spectrum there. I'm guessing. I could just be talking out of my ass. This is still booting up. Ah, oh, sod it. I'm going to restart it. If it restart. <laughs> I'll turn it off with the button. No, you're going to do anything. Oh, there we go. Don't matter if it damages the OS system because I'm about to wipe it anyway. Okay. This time I'm going to select the proper selection. Boot from CD ROM. I'm guessing I just saw disk and hit disk. Right, so that's not going to do its thing. Um, hopefully that will ask me to format the disk because it will need it. Why Dell? XP come up full screen but this screen comes up mini. Need a bloody telescope to read it. To set up Windows now, press enter. If your computer has Windows NT on it, press F3 to quit. If setup has found a non-MS-DOS operating system files on your computer. <laughs> See, so, so this one. Remove. Remove. Yes. 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 
<laughs> ah. My pen drive, or flash drive, whatever you want to call these things. Pen drives, flash drives, jump drives. Ugh. Right, so that's no restarting. I do believe I've got to go and do the CD again, and that'll go through this, and that should format the disc, in theory. When it goes back into the um, setup, it should... There we go. Formatting drive C. Well, that's going to take a while to do that. So I'm going to take you through here and just download the drivers, and then when I've got the drivers on this flash drive, I'll um, turn the camera off, give the batteries a rest, And uh, that lot can be deleted. I don't need that. Actually, I'll keep the Firefox one because that'll save me downloading it again. Delete those two. I'm going to minimise that. Get rid of that and that. I'm going to get at least the two main drivers that I'd want. I can't believe, for a laptop that old, Bella still got the drivers. Right. Anyway, put that one down. Where's the video? Download that one. Ah, this has got two file formats. Yeah. Other versions available, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one to go for. Um well, I'm gonna go for the main one. Oh, when I clicked down I bought that up. Well, I'm not go for that one, it's got two choices, it's either going to work or it isn't. But I'm going to leave this web page up anyway, so if it doesn't work, I can um, just come back and download the other version, so it won't be a problem either way. Let's just get this up, drop down the download list, that's not going to do both, is it? Right. So we do it this way. One. Drop and drag, drag and drop. We've got the CD ready through there for the um, flash drive driver for Windows 98. Hopefully the C the um, USB port works on that one. I'm not going to have a faulty one like I had on one of the M700s. Right, well, that can just stay in there for a bit. Uh, It'll take a while to um, format that, so I'm going to drop across what footage I've got now to the PC and uh, have a tidy up of some footage I've got on here. I've got bits and bobs dotted about. I've got photos that can actually be deleted. Don't we know? Black and white one here. What's this one? Oh, it's my sister's sub. That's sold now, so I can delete those. Bye. And that one. <sighs> Uh, that one can stay there for a bit. That one can delete, delete, delete. Those ones can be deleted. God, I keep some crap on it. I don't know why I keep it on it. Right. So I'm going to shut the camera down for now, and I'll be back when I've made some progress. So, uh, see you in a bit. Oh, we're getting somewhere. So I've got to perform a routine check on your system, so press enter. It's got quite a noisy hard drive on this, but it seems to be working absolutely fine. There we go. Stage one of setting this laptop up is on the way. I wonder why it's got to be in this 
dinky little screw. It's not the only laptop. Actually, I don't think it's the only Dell that has done this. Ah, no. Actually, the last laptop this did this on wasn't a Dell, and I can't remember which one of mine it was. I think it was the HP that I got in that job lot of laptops. I think. Oh, oh. that's a crashed. Hmm, there's no battery light on. Whoa, estimated time remaining 30 to 60 minutes. Might be here a while. So that is just an estimated time. Don't tell me it's crashed. If it's crashed, it's the first laptop that's actually gone and done it to me. Well, shouldn't have crashed, the mouse is still working. Nope, the disk has just started up again. I think it's just taking its time. Hmm. I think what I might do, I was going to leave the DVD drive on the machine when I was done, but I think as an external CD DVD drive would be much more useful. I'll put it into this and put a floppy drive back on the system. I'm not going to put the original floppy drive back in because uh, it looks a bit ill. <laughs> and I've got loads of these uh, exactly the same, so I'm just going to put a cleaner one in. I might as well. Alright then. So here we go. Onwards and upwards with the install. A very tiny bit of heat in there, but nothing I'm worried about. You expect them to generate some heat, as long as I'm not piping hot. mouse on this. <laughs> yeah, why not? Select it, dumbass. There we go. I call it the Latitude. I like to name my laptops after the actual name of the laptop when it says this. So, for example, where it says computer name, I've put latitude. United States. No, I'm in the United Kingdom. Okay. I'm going to carry on with that. I've got the other thing I'm going to need is that disk. That land driver might work, but once 98 is installed, I'll restart and I'll go into the system BIOS. Uh, I know it tells me a lot of the hardware it's got, so I'll have a look. And perhaps jot down some names so I can get the actual name of the hardware on this. Apart from the audio and the video, because I've got the um, drivers downloaded for that. As you saw previously, I've done those. But there's several options for the LAN network. Which is really the only other driver I need. There's not, I don't think there's any point in me installing the um, modem, the dial-up modem, because the chances of me using it is uh, slim to none. I actually don't know if this has got one on it.
that hasn't even got land on it. Oh, so. This was hidden under. There's a little cover here, and I'm not sure if there's anything hidden under it. Or just an open space. Oh, well, I won't bother with land then, because there's no point if it hasn't got it built in. Which I'm surprised. Well, I still get it online, because I can still put the um, Wi Fi adapters on it. I know at least two I've got will work. Right, I'm going to let that do its thing and I'll come back in a little bit. Hi guys, I'm back again. Almost there. This is just uh, doing the hardware detection. Which it's nearly done. Yeah, man, almost there. 96, 97%. 99, 100. There's no, yeah, there's no setting up your hardware and pl and any plug and play devices you may have. Well, there's nothing plugged in. Apart from the DVD drive. Restart. Got my flash drive here ready. I've got to run the drivers that are on that disk first. battery light that sometimes comes on and sometimes it doesn't. We can hear hard drive activity but that hard drive light isn't on. The battery light's just gone off as well. Boredom does to you. Yeah, I think I'll chuck that disk drive. I'm not going to trust it with all that rust and that on it. Because you don't know what it's got onto the internals, if anything. So, I've got plenty more. I've got one in there. <laughs> Sunday. It's got May 15th. Close, but not quite. It's May 26th. No, nope, it's PM. Four thirty six, so now that's correct. No, that's not the right time zone. And that's the one. Apply those settings. Okay. That's just installing devices and whatnot and programs and Take long to do the control pan. Programs on the start menu. Updating system settings here. We're nearly there now. S 
of eight or nine minutes, but I know from experience we're not far off now. Still got to look at that one. I believe this doesn't. Oh, I never noticed that this doesn't have any Ethernet or 56k modem sockets or anything on it. I have popped that little cover off there, and there's just a blank. Well, not a blank hole, an empty hole behind it. So no, this thing doesn't have them, so I don't need to download any of that. Can't install something that hasn't got. Quite a um, this must be a basic um, model of the series for it not to have it. I am starting to like Dell machines though. I don't know what it is, there's just something about them that I like. what I want for tea. I've only got to get through tomorrow. I think I've got about five pounds in my pocket, something like that. That's more than enough. temperature. All the bottom's a little warm, but still, nothing that's going to cause a fire. May have to put the video drivers in. <sighs> Unknown device. What have you found? The default monitor. Ben is just going to come up with that little screen when it does go into Windows 98 desktop. Yeah. Just as I thought. Asshole. Right. Well, there's an easy way to get around that. I'll learn up. Show this message each time Windows 98 starts. No, I don't think so. Right. Um, what I need to do before we start is take Windows 98 disk out. That's going to give me the disk. Wait. Hello? Oh, there we go. Talk about delayed reaction. Now I've got to run this disk. To uh, install the driver for the flash drive. And it's this last one in the list. Yes. And it's going to ask me 
going to reboot, so I click yes. I was going to put the Windows 98 CD away, but I'm, I can't remember if I'm going to need it or not. So I'm just going to lay it there. Lay it there out of the way. I'm going to need to get to that USB port though. Ooh. I can't remember where it is. Oh, it's there. Mm -hmm. Open the password again. I did try to ignore it once while installing this, but it kept asking me to do the password, so I'll just do them now to save that trouble. I used to save one on each laptop. Flash drive light flashing, so what it's doing it's flashing, should be installed in it. something behind me that sounds like it's flying around in a tin. Like that was a fly stuck under something. Fancy. Found it. <laughs> Fucking flies. floppy drive back in. So now when I go to my computer should oh, it's already open. Aha and the little disk. So run this one.
this is a video driver, this one, I think. Yeah, you can use either pointing device. Wee, wee, does work. But I don't know. Did that wrong run this program? Next. Yes, yes. Express recommended. There we go. Always click the recommended install unless you know what you're doing or there's anything you want to change. allow me to change that to full screen, I hope. Because that is really annoying. The audio driver won't take so long. I'll have to restart this machine to um, do the audio driver. Well, once I've done the audio driver anyway, so I'm going to click no for the moment. I'm going to close all this. Then I'm going to um, run the. Uh, click the wrong one. Click run, wi run win zip, not unzip. And let's just do the audio driver. Then I can re. Oh, reinstall. Restart the system and should have two working devices as there's nothing else installed on this. It's the same procedure again. CD drive for older machines like this one, and uh, my 95 machines, when I get a cable, I think I'll try and spend a few quid Thursday and get one. Or whenever 
I don't need one right now. We notice we've got full screen this time. Yay! Good. The USB device is installed. I just haven't unplugged it. Now, in all fairness, out of all the 98 machines I've restored, just what I've done to this, I've restored it back to Windows 98 from Windows XP, as you've seen. So I don't even know why I bothered mentioning that. Never had much in the way of problems with installing devices. You know, as long as they're compatible with Windows 98 and you obviously need the... Uh, oh, pardon me. Need the boot-up disk as well. Yay! We're done. At the moment, there is nothing else I want to put on that. <coughs> e is not accessible. Why is E not accessible? Well, I'll take that back about saying I didn't have any issues with Windows 98. <laughs> so, lit up? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to unplug it anyway. I oh, know that's what that was referring to. Referring to as E drive. Go away. Those. Okay, there we go. Actually, before we go, I don't like a plain blue background, so let's find something. All of these settings. What can I go up to? I go up to 32 bit color. There we go. Let's set it to 32 bit. The screen area is okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm kneeling on the floor, by the way. I'm not going to restart yet. I'm going to do that. Right, backgrounds. It's not giving me the. Uh, Oh, here we go. I don't want it center. Strip the world. Circles look just like bubbles. Pinstripe, what's that one? Oh, my camera pointed in the wrong bloody direction. There we go. We'll stick it right in front of me. Oh. That'll do. Right. I'm going to shut it down and just swap this drive over. I've got to fly in that fucking cat food tin again. An empty tin of cat food. I think that's empty anyway. Yep. There. Fly wants it, it's in the bin. Right, so I'm just going to sit you on top of the um, adapter for now. my external disk drive. I've just got to get the cable for it. Just like I said, I've got other laptops that I can use that on as a disk drive, so that's why I've decided to put the flocking back in this one. 
there we go. All done, sorted, and dusted. I'm going to power up and make sure it's going to recognise the floppy disk drive. Like I saw. I'm happy with that. I hope that's just going to do small screen on boot up. <laughs> my computer though. It is. Oh, it made a noise. Yep, that's working. It's not going to detect anything because I haven't put a disc in there, but I just want to know that it was actually going to recognise that it's there. Okay, so that's good. We're done. Oh, what? I've just realised that hasn't kept my background. Bitch. Why has it done that? Go back into properties, settings. Let's well, remember the 32 bit color settings. Center. Uh, stretch. Apply. Okay. Behave. Remember it. Huh. Well, I'm happy. That's two pounds well spent, isn't it? <laughs> See? You'll go with these car boots and try your luck. You might think they might want more than you'd be willing to pay for it when you pick something up, but you never know unless you ask. Like I said, I found that and that and a box of junk just sitting there, no care taken to put them out, they were just thrown in this box of crap basically, which um, to me was a good indication that I could probably get them cheap, otherwise I would have taken more care about putting them out, instead of just throwing them in a box. <laughs> right, I could easily get that online as well. I've got a Belkin wireless adapter kicking about somewhere I can use, um, which I know for a fact does run on Windows 98, because my compact Armada E500 that's on Windows 98 has got it installed. I don't think it's going to be in any of those. There is a disk I need to find, because it's for a Dinky little USB Wi-Fi adapter I've got. And I know I kept the disc. I hope I kept the disc. I'm screwed if I haven't. <laughs> I'm going to get down. I'm going to sort out my discs, actually, because I've got loads of discs here. Believe it or not, I have actually thrown a load of discs out in the past. I don't really use them. I've only got them for... Um, when I'm installing operating systems and I may need a, to put the drivers onto a disk rather than uh, use a flash drive so I have got some here for that right, well if it's an operating system that can all go in one pile I think all of these are on the top here oh no, that is, I was looking at the wrong thing there we go I'm going to put those up the corner. Like With the blank DVDs. And I've got 
my um, webcam. That doesn't want to work on my Windows 7, so I need that because I've still got the webcam. I don't know if I've still got that. Might have. Microsoft Office 2000. Oh, Genius Sound Maker value 5.1. I'm not sure if I've still got that or not. Aha! That is the wireless thingy I was looking for. I want to put my HP over there on wireless. So I want that. Now I've just got to remember where I put the USB adapter. <laughs> it's probably thrown up on this shelf somewhere. That's an old BT disc. That's the five port USB card driver, which I still have. Ah! The Belkin adapter that I need. I don't even have the Mikomi webcam, so I don't know why I've still got that. Photoshop Pro, these are just some discs I found cleaning at some point. Um, not cleaning, I was around a friend's dad's and they were in a pile of crap that he was going to check out, so I just grabbed them. That's mostly games and things. No idea why I've got PC games, because I don't really play them. There's nothing interesting there anyway, there's Theme Park. More OS discs. Yeah, there's Theme Park. Um, a pool game. I can't remember now, not without looking. Sim Sim City, I think, is in here as well. I forgot I have. Yeah, Theme Park. There's a couple of CDRWs with some crap on. Pool and Sim C. I've got Theme Hospital, but it doesn't work as Theme Hospital. <laughs> uh, right. So that's it for this video. Next video will be about installing those. So. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll talk to you again in the next video. So, bye.